Good morning, my peeps. What's up? It's your girl, V Nice T, coming straight at you from Channel 54. La Canal 54, the Channel Lima Spulupa, the Chanel Lima Apa, and the Channel Ocean Sound. I'm on the 91 freeway. Looks like we're having a little traffic this morning on this Valentine Day. Wanted to jump on here and say happy Valentine to all my viewers and my new subscribers. Welcome again to the channel. I've been missing some days, but I always tell you guys, I'm gonna try to get back on it, get back on it. All right, let's get started. Happy Valentine for all of you who have Valentine. Great job, hold on to them. Get them whatever you do. Chocolates, bears, movie tickets, dinner, you know, roses, the whole nine yards. Cause you know, this is my favorite holiday. Yeah, right. I don't even have a Valentine. <laughs> so I wanted to come on here to wish everybody a good week and to let you know that this morning I'm so late to work but I had a little headache but I'm feeling better so I'm on my work on my way to work because I wasn't gonna stay home we have our happy Valentine day today so we're exchanging gifts and we're having a luncheon so you know I, I can't miss that even though I would have stayed home if my head headache was still hurting but it's gone um, also I watched physical 100 the new episodes came out today whoop, whoop. If you haven't watched it, please get on it. Netflix, Physical 100. We get two new episodes every week. So next week will be the finals and I'm so excited. Spoiler alert, my girl group did not make it to the finals um, or to the semifinals, but they gave it their all. So it was them combined with another guy group and two guy groups together. And uh, it was who can move this 1.5 ton ship it was actually more than that because they had to put these big wheelbarrows on top of the ship. Who can move it the fastest? So my girl team, they um, they missed it by two minutes. The other team was faster than them by two minutes. Can you believe it? Two minutes. And that ship was so big and the people on her team were not the strongest. The strongest teams were the ones who won but they gave it their all and I was so glad. I was so happy for them. They're gonna go away with great memories and meeting some of the strongest athletic people in Korea. So I'm sure they're all gonna keep in touch. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about PDA since it's Happy Valentine Day, you know, PDA. No, it's not a run group. No, it's not a rap group like Run DMC. This is PDA, Public Display of Affection. I believe that's what it is. So anyways, PDA and Samwon, um, in our culture, it's like frowned upon. It's like taboo. You don't talk or do anything that relates to like PDA or you know anything sexual contact or anything like that. So that's the way we've been raised, that's the way we grew up. I'm sure other cultures do the same. So my brother has been married to his wife, how old is that brother? For 14 years. And I think the only time I've seen them holding hands in front of us was once. My sister has been married to her husband for about 19 20 years now 20 years i want to say and i have yet to see her <laughs> hold hands in front of us with her husband it's just it's just not the thing to do for us right so we've been raised like that you know and stuff i think my cousin her and her husband i've seen them they've been married for like 21 years and i've seen them hold hands in front of all of us cousins maybe once <laughs> so yeah you get it PDA is um, not the business, but you know what? Times have changed. And to keep up with the time change, you know, like, like say for instance, for me, you know, I'm well in my fifties, so I just turned 50. You know, so if I had a Valentine and because I'm trying to keep up with time and change, you know, and if, if my Valentine wanted to grab my hand in front of my family, oh dude, I would be like, Grab it if you want it, homeboy. So what I'm saying in Samoan is, dude, if you want it, grab it, take it. If you kind of shy or timid, start with the thumb. Then two, three, four, five, take it for you. So for me with PDA, for myself, I would have been like, I. Right. Let's do this. But in our culture, yeah, it's frowned upon. We don't do it. If I were to see one of my nephews do it in front of me, I'd be like, hey, hey, hey. Mm -mm. But for myself, dude, I'm old and grown. Yeah, 
let's do this cupid where you at anyways so yeah i just wanted to share that with pda i mean there's a limit to it as well i see a lot of other cultures you know doing public display infection everywhere and you know we always turn our heads or our kids when we're watching movies and the couple's kissing they'll they'll put their hands over their um eyes you know so they won't see it so it's just a, a cultural thing in the way we're raised do i agree with it yeah because <laughs> that's the way we're raised and when it comes to me will i do it yeah <laughs> will i suffer the consequences yeah and why? Because I haven't done it since I've been born. Well, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna be discreet. I haven't, you know, I've done a little thing or two, you know what I'm saying, but I keep it within the limits. But yeah, I just wanted to share that on this Valentine's Day, everybody. So have yourselves a great day. It is difficult to drive and hold your phone. So I'm gonna call it quits. What do I always say, you guys? Sarangu, sarangu. Orahu, let me do that right. Sarangi. Orahu, orale. Make it a great day and happy Valentine.